Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm Ken, the photographer at Randall Lamb Roof. Today is Wednesday, April 27th, 2016 AD. And I thought I'd switch up a little bit. And instead of talking about the Ken EOS 1DX Mark II, which is coming out in four days, three days plus some, excuse me, I thought I would talk about the Ken EOS 5D Mark IV specification list. Uh, this camera has not been announced yet. Uh, but we do know it's coming. It's just a matter of time and what the actual specs are compared to rumor specs. So I'm on uh, canrumors.com. In fact, let me. Uh, okay, this is more April 20th. Oh, so uh, this, this was just, according right here, it's, it was yesterday. So this is pretty new for the most part. Uh, let's see what it says. The expected announcement of the Cameos 5D Mark IV is about four months away. Oh, okay. And information coming has been pretty minimal. However, we have received our first specification list. Uh, with a camera. It's probably on the camera. As with a lot of CR1 stuff, please take it with a grain of salt, as I don't know the person that sent it in. Okay, so in other words, they're saying don't count what they're saying as the gospel because they're not for sure. So let's see what we got here. Let's hold on a little bit. Okay, so theoretically, based on rumors, nothing substantiated, but just just rumors, the 5D Mark IV will have a 24.2 megapixel pixel sensor, which is disappointing because I thought it would be a lot more. Uh, with the 5DS or 5DSR having a 50 megapixel. I was so hoping it would be a lot more than 24.2. But I digress. 61 autofocus points, 41 cross type, nothing new there. Uh, digic 7, a single digic 7, nothing surprise there. 7 frames per second, not surprising, that's about right. ISO 151,200, uh, standard. Now, what those expandable options are, we don't know. But most people don't use, most people won't be using the expanded, expandable options unless you're doing military surveillance or police investigator or a private investigator. You're probably not even going to think about using those expandable options. Um, but I guess it's nice to know that they're there if you absolutely, absolutely have to need them. Um, even if they don't look real good, they're, it's good to know they're there. Uh, 3.2 inch touchscreen LCD. Uh, a CFast and an SD card slot. So as whereas the 1DX Mark II has a CFast and a compact flash, this has a CFast and an SD card slot, according to the rumors. We don't know that for sure, but it looks to me, according to this, you got one CFast card slot and an SD card slot. So the idea being there. You, 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 or just one, or you don't want to have to upgrade, you can still use your old one. But the CFAST is probably going to be faster. Wi Fi built in, sounds good. GPS built in, I would think, this is just me. Now that the Canyos 1DX Mark II has the GPS built in, and the way they have it built into the pro cameras, I would think from now on GPS is going to be a standard in all their pro level cameras. I mean, I don't, I don't see any reason, even their prosumer cameras, uh, consumer or prosumer, the way they've built in that GPS to the One DX Mark II, they should be able to do that to every camera body that's you know this kind of camera, this DSLR. I mean, there's no reason they can't do it now. So they can do it on the high end. They should easily be able to do it on the low end. So. You know, the reason I said it is because the reason, main reason they haven't been able to, to do it before the 1DX Mark II, or at least the reason they gave me is uh, that they couldn't do it before the 1DX Mark II is because magnesium body was so thick that the signals would not get through the metal. Well, if they can figure out how to do it on the thick 1DX Mark II, they can obviously do it on a camera that, that doesn't have a thick magnesium or has some plastic or has some different 
know what I'm saying? So my point is, it should be able, if it can do it on the high end, it should be able to do it on the low end that's not quite as thick. So GPS, in my opinion, should be a standard from now on in all DSLR cameras, especially from Canon. Uh, ooh, does it come with a battery grip? Or is that just an accessory? That's a good question. Probably, probably an accessory. A BG-E20 battery grip. Uh, LP-E20 battery. Uh, slight weight reduction. So it's going to be a little bit lot. It's not going to weigh quite as much than as the previous 5G Mark III. So that's cool. How much? Um, of course, you got to realize slight could be mean anything. It could mean one tenth of a pound. You know what I'm saying? So, or one sixteenth of a pound. I mean, slight could be any, slight weight reduction could be anything. It could be a whole pound, a tenth of a pound, a twentieth of a pound. As long as it weighs less than what it, the previous model weighs, that can be anything. You know. Um, but the fact that it's a little bit le weighs a little bit less is good. Um, and they go on to say, as we hear more, we'll be sure to pass the uh, on the information that we can. So that's good to know. So basically, let's overview it real quick. Now, again, these are just rumors. These are from Canon rumors, and they got them from somebody else. So it is what it is. But the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV rumors as of Wednesday, April 27th, 2016, are 24.2 megapixel sensor. 61 all focus points, a single digit 7 processor, 7 frames per second, ISO of 100 to 51,200, 3.2 inch touchscreen display, uh, non articulated, CFast and SD card slots, Wi Fi built in, GPS built in, BG E20 battery grip, LP E20 battery, and a slight re weight reduction as compared to the 5D Mark III. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Until next time, I'm Cam Neal's from for Rally Roof. Same thing as watching. Have a good day. And we God bless you. Bye. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to keep, keep taking those pictures.